back at it again. We have one with Sav Says. I'll leave her original link in the description below. Go show her some love and let her know we appreciate it, all right? But she has an interesting interview here that I really wanted you guys to see because, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just jump into it and I'll, I'll, I'll explain further later. Let's dive in. This is Savannah Hernandez back out on the streets of Dallas, Texas for our monthly How is Joe Biden doing as president video? Let's go ask our fellow Americans how they think our president has done so far. How are we feeling about Joe Biden as president? No, no English. No English? No. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Cuba. I don't know what's going on in presidency. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no English? I'm not as good as I thought, to be honest. I mean, you know. From? Yeah, I'm from Cuba. I don't know what's going on in presidency. Oh, you don't know what's happening? Okay. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as good as I thought, to be honest. I mean, you know, you see gas prices? I do. He did that, but I mean, I still stand by my choice. Oh, not this. No? Um, I think he's doing a lot of talking, not as much action as he could be. Um. No sé. Really, don't say it. No sé. Really, I don't know. An interesting conundrum that I've been running into today. Not many of the interviewees speak English. Hmm. I mean, the man. Like interesting situation she's gotten herself into. Not many of the people that she's run into speak English. I wonder why that is. And it's not to say that to live in America you have to speak English. But with the current situation going on right now, Exhibit A. Week, we've been hearing reports of a real uptick in the number of illegals coming over the border. Bill Malugin has been showing us some interesting, um, actually very shocking footage of the massive amounts of people coming through yesterday. But here's some stats on that. Uh, 239,416 uh, border encounters in May. Um, since October, it's been 1.5 million or more. So, I mean, you see these numbers, but in addition, yesterday, Lieutenant Oliveras, who I met down in the Del Rio sector um, when I was down in, um, in Uvalde area and, and, and by the border, by the Rio Grande, I met him. He's sent me pictures every now and then, videos that they've seen. Um, here is some video. I mean, look at this, the number of people and also the number of children that are coming across. He sent me one that had a little boy look like he was three years old. Um, and some of them are coming with parents. Some of them are coming unaccompanied, as you know. And as you also know, terrible things happen to people along this, these journeys. And We can end that there. You get the mess. Now, there's nothing wrong with immigrating to America. We're supposed to be the melting pot, you know? So, no problem. But what we're talking about illegal immigration. I think that's a totally different discussion. Now, when we're talking about going through the necessary steps in order to legally come into the United States, oh yeah, welcome you with open arms. But illegally, totally different story. And with this administration, there are people pouring in like crazy. But of course, but of course, I'm, I'm, I'm an ist because I say something about illegal immigration. All right. Of course, I'm the R word because, you know, I'm, I'm not for illegally coming into the country. I'm for legally coming into the country. Uh, you know, I, because I, I know how that's going to go. You know, the script has already been written. So, you know, we, we, we know how how it plays out. Right. It's been it's been said way too many times at this point. You, you just you just know the script. <laughs> Oh man, how could you be such a such an R word, man? We, we we know how that goes. But um, do you guys think that has something to do with the number of people that she encountered that don't speak English? Or do you just think it's just simple coincidence? Let me know in the comment section. I think it has something to do with the video that we just watched. But that's just my humble opinion. I, I could totally be wrong on anything that I say. As I always tell you guys, I acknowledge that. Um, unlike some people in this world, unfortunately, who don't acknowledge that they could ever be wrong on anything. They think that they're right about everything. I understand. I, I could be wrong. So let me know how you guys feel in the comments section. But um, let's jump back into Sab Says video. Like 95. <laughs> so I, I don't. 
speak English. Hmm. I mean, the man like 95, <laughs> so I, I don't really know how good people really wanted him to do. Um, as far as like gas prices and stuff like that, he hasn't really been like other people in aspects there, especially with Trump supporters and stuff like that. They've wanted more of that aspect of um, that type of leader that will definitely stand up and kind of cut the crap on that stuff, which with him, he's just put literally a note out. I mean, like, hey, y'all should lower the gas price. And it's like, okay. like, no. Yeah, what do you guys think about Joe Biden just telling gas stations to just <laughs> lower the gas like, price? Uh, okay, it's buddy. not going to happen. There's no, there's going to be no, no plan of action. Talk to me about why you voted for Joe Biden. Honestly, it was everything bad and truthful at standing behind Trump when it comes to the walls, when it comes to immigrants. So I actually do a lot of border reporting. Uh, in May, we saw a record almost a quarter million illegal immigrants cross the border. We have almost two million illegal crossings since Joe Biden has gotten into office. What do you think about some of those numbers? And what do you think about the border cities who are kind of being terrorized by the cartels right now because of the open borders from Joe Biden? To begin, honestly, with the numbers that have gone up, I don't see it as something that should be seen as a negative towards America. We come here for a better opportunity and a better place, so I don't necessarily yeah. see it as I a mean, downfall, and that was something that Trump was standing for. But I always agreed that coming to America is an opportunity, not necessarily something we should stop anybody else from doing. I agree with him on part of that statement. I agree that people should be able to come here for a better life and a better opportunity. I mean, apparently, uh, some people that have been born here in America think it's like the worst place ever and it's not the land of opportunity and it's not the the, the land of freedom and in this beautiful place apparently it's this place of oppression and yet you have people flooding into our borders it's ironic how how, how that works out but um yeah I, I agree that people should be allowed to come here for a better opportunity but they should be allowed to come here legally that is the key part legally have the right documentation go through the right process to come here legally, illegally, no, hell no, excuse my French, but that's just the way that I feel, it's illegal, why should we be promoting illegal activities, I'm just saying, that, that one just doesn't register to me, but y'all y'all, let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Let's continue on. But I always agreed that coming to America is an opportunity, not necessarily something we should stop anybody else from doing. It's unfair that we can go there, but they can't come here to... But were we stopping people under Donald Trump from coming legally or illegally? Illegally. Now seeing the state of America... <laughs> illegally is the key word we were stopping people that were coming over here illegally not legally matter of fact maybe we should build the wall i don't know you know i, I mean that I, that probably would have helped at this point in time if we actually had a big giant ginormous wall with barbed wire and everything you know across it so you couldn't you couldn't go over the top of it it went like 50 feet deep, so you couldn't necessarily go under it or 100 feet deep. However, I don't know. It, it went crazy deep, so it wasn't very easy to go under it. There was a process that you had to go through to come here legally, and we allowed people that went through that process to come here legally. I, I agree 100% with that, but let's continue on. America under Joe Biden, we're almost two years in. We're dealing with record high inflation. We have some empty grocery store shelves. The gas prices are kind of high. Oh, and that's going to get worse. Would you vote for Joe again in 2024? Ooh, interesting question. What's I would be undecided. Right now, I am. I would be. I couldn't say that I could fully stand for voting for him again in 2024. I would say no. No, mm -mm. no, Joe, 2024. No, no. <laughs> would have been interesting if she would have asked them. Well, what about Trump? <laughs> if you had to vote for Trump or Biden, who would you vote for in 24? I would have loved for her to ask that question. But shout out to Sav says once again. Like I said, I'll leave her original link in the description. But to wrap things up here, very very interesting statement there that she made at the in the middle of that video. A lot of people that she ran into apparently weren't English speakers. I did find it, uh, the, uh, the first guy did understand English at least a little bit because he answered her when she said, uh, where are you from? I, I do I do recall that. Biden is president. No, no English. No English? No. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Cuba. I don't know. Yeah, that part. So they at least understand a little bit of English, but that was an interesting statement. And like I said, I, I think 
it is because of the video that I brought up for you guys. I think it has something to do with, you know, the record numbers of illegal immigration. We love legal immigration, right? We, 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 we like people from all walks of life, shapes, colors, and all that stuff, you know, um, coming here for, for a better, a better life. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And it, and it reiterates how wonderful this country is when we see people wanting to come here from other countries. It's a beautiful thing. But illegally is a totally different story, like I explained earlier. Um, so, yeah, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that section of the video. But also, you know, to speak on the <laughs> on the back end of that video, I just wish you would have asked the Trump question. Who would you rather vote for, Trump or Biden? And honestly, I think and I spoke about this in uh, the comment section of yesterday's video uh, where the the Trump versus Elon video that I dropped there was a survey that I put in that video that was from New York and maybe I didn't clarify it very well but I felt like that survey was a little skewed because it was in New York and of course we know New York is a heavy heavy democratic state or heavy blue state so any survey done there has to be taken with a grain of salt because that survey said that Donald Trump would lose against Joe Biden if they were to run right now and I'm like, mm, not from what I've heard, <laughs> not from the surveys that I've seen. I don't, I don't think that is correct. Now, maybe some people have shifted after the official announcement of Roe v. Wade being struck down because people don't know what it is they're talking about. And these politicians don't care to truly educate folks on, Ro on what Roe v. Wade actually even was. But we'll save that discussion for another day. But even with that, I still think Trump would, if they ran today, I still think Trump would win. I still think he would win. I think in that survey, it was like 44 to 41%. Like 44% would vote for Joe Biden and 41 would vote for Trump. And it was like a four and a half percent, you know, margin or something. So I think, I think at this point in time, if there was a vote today, with the knowledge that I have, you know, with with, you know, the uh, black numbers that we've seen in several videos, the Latinos that are winning. Uh, 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 what, what was her name? My, Mayora, My, Myra Flores. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Flipped a heavy blue district um, recently in Texas with with that kind of stuff, with the red wave being being predicted. I think Trump would win like 65, 70 to 30, 70% 70 of people would vote for Trump, 30 would still vote for Biden. And I think it would be such a decisive victory that there would be no way that anything could be, what's a way to put this so that YouTube doesn't strike this video down. There would be no way that they could play with it, if you know what I mean. I have to be careful with my words because YouTube doesn't like you talking about um, what allegedly happened. Okay, we'll say that. I think it would be that decisive of a victory that even if they tried to play with it or circumvent things, it'd be very, very hard to make up the difference. That's the type of victory that I think would happen. But of course, the reality of the situation is there's a long way until 24. And the reality is Democrats still can turn this thing around. They haven't. So I doubt that they will at this point. But yeah, y'all let me know how you're feeling about all of this in the comment section below. Uh, YouTube is actively suppressing these videos. So please, please, please make sure you guys continue to uh, help me out with the YouTube algorithm by, of course, liking, um, sharing these videos, leaving a comment, even if it's just a comment that says, hey, just for the YouTube algorithm, I appreciate every single last bit of it. All right. Thank you guys so, so much for all of the continued love and support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love. I'm out.